My name is Juan Archuleta, current Ryzen Bantamweight Champion, working with former WBO Junior Welterweight Champion, had the record for most punches thrown and landed in a boxing fight. The reason why I love working with him is because he makes me work my footwork while I'm punching. He doesn't believe in being stationary and having to land. Although it does help with power, he doesn't believe that that's the only way to win a fight. Obviously, he has uh, the pedigree to show it. So, as you can see, tune in, baby. Let's go. Trying to keep it warm in here. It's cold. It's the morning. Monday morning. Starting off the week with some mitts. Get all my defense and offense going. But Coach Zach, he's had, had the record for most punches and thrown, landed in a boxing fight. WBO champ. He's the man. He's been with me since the beginning of my career. Here we are. 35 fights in. Get ready to defend my title in Japan. Let's go. Yeah. Have K.O. He out here from Japan. He was actually one of the guys that reached out to me first when I got to Japan about training and kind of showing me Japanese lifestyle and super cool and got to meet some really cool guys along the way. And everyone was always like, oh, I'm gonna come train with you. It's like, yeah, come out, come out. And uh, after his last fight, he came out here to train. Oh, God. It's cool because I want to give back to the Japanese community because they give so much to me as fans and like they're super appreciative. And like his work ethic shows not a lot of people able to keep up with me going training camp, training camp, or training session, training session. And he's been biting down and doing it, so props to him. All right, so I'm at time for 12 minutes. Okay. 12 minutes on, so actually we're gonna make it 18. So this is some um, organic sweet potato. I like to make it like savory sweet, so it's like garlic sweet potato. And this is some ground elk. Um, I made my own like sausage seasoning, so it's like a I made like a breakfast sausage out of the ground elk. And so I'm gonna make some um, breakfast omelets with the ground elk and some other veggies, and then a side of. Um, sweet potato as well as probably a bowl of fruit because he's higher on the carbs right now because his body's a machine so he's burning a lot so I have to keep fueling the fire. Ooh, that was a good one. Got down to where I wanted about the mid 60s right now. Still seven weeks out so that's where I want to hit. Started this camp at 181 so going down to 134.4 so trimming down. It's getting nice. I have all my calories down right here with my macros and I plug everything in to make sure I make a perfectly balanced meal every time so that way when his trainer asks me what did he eat or how do I how does he feel then I can like use this as my reference I'm like okay so this is what he did this is what we shouldn't do and I like it because it teaches me more about his body in response to the nutrition you know, like, did you feel good off of that? Did you not? Did you feel sluggish? You know, there's certain ways that you can help an athlete through food instead of just, you know, an athlete turning to hardcore, probably legal supplementation just to feel better. Because it's better on everything. This is the best. See, even him, he likes Cholula now. It's like putting creamer with your coffee. It's bomb no matter what. Frutas. So today we're at Huntington Beach Training Center. I work all the time with uh, Paul Herrera, Tiki Gosent, getting ready. This is a goal game planning. We uh, do real live like fighting, sparring almost, but also working our game plan. So this is probably like the best training I get throughout the day because it's putting all martial arts together and it's exciting. It's gonna be fun. 
Stay tuned. Bye. 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 I usually get black or white shin pads because I'm a champ now. Always I see gold, baby. Let's go. dimensions of the ring laying it out so he has an idea which angle he has to be at and just in here until we actually train inside the ring so he knows where he's at paul herrera uh, i'm uh, one of uh, juan's coaches it's tiki and myself we have a few other coaches um felipe and, and uh, joe stevenson there's a few guys that are involved with us we have uh the partner down from Japan that's mirroring uh, Sakura and, and he's, you know, making it difficult for Juan to do those things. So that was our focus today. I saw a lot of really good things. Juan's at probably at like about a 90% success rate on his feet and that's why he's the champ, right? He's just starting to move up into kind of legendary status now. I've known Juan since he's been a competitor in wrestling, even before we actually met. Juan has always been part of the top wrestlers in the world, not just the nation. When Juan and I started to uh, interact and, and get to know each other, we had a couple of young wrestlers that ended up getting scholarships to uh, Oklahoma. Juan would come in and just thump up on those kids and, and he was the partner, you know, he was there a little bit bigger their size and, and uh, just a great technician and awesome coach. He's always been this good. He just needed some fine tuning and striking and and some higher level in coaching because he always had the right partners and the right people and it needed to be geared and focused on him and I'm sit and I told Tiki this is the guy that you need to get we need to get this guy in this guy will be a champion and he's like all right Paul I want to get him in and and, and the rest is history okay okay uh Tiki said bye bye oh <laughs> Our life is always on the go that we're about to sit down and eat our breakfast that we haven't ate yet, isn't it? So we chill out. Let our fight gear dry in the back. And then eat our food that my wife made this morning. Dejas. So with our style of training, like we have like a certain calorie um, amount that we eat throughout the day. Because a lot of people act, actually like training wise, as far as like martial arts, they don't consume the right amount of calories or the proper nutrition. We had to put some weight on him because he doesn't know if he's going to fight till February or like January. So we got to put some weight on him. That way when he starts to cut, he's a lot, he has a lot more mass to be able to sustain power and absorb power. More stronger, huh? More muscle? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Every day, uh, eight. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, number one, tacos. Tacos. Me, right? yeah. <laughs> uh, every day, tacos, okay. Hell yeah. Today yeah. we're here at St. John Bosco where I started coaching uh, high school wrestling with some of the Valencia kids, Aaron Pico, all these guys, and I'm gonna stick true to what I'm good at, which is wrestling. So uh, every day we just drill, get some live goes a couple, and uh, just get in good position where I, where I want to take the fight, right? Like, I can either take it the ground or I can keep it standing. That's how uh, confident I am with my wrestling. are animals right challenging positions which is good because that's what I need like no takedowns an easy takedown whether wrestling MMA or you're on the street you're gonna work for that takedown hardest part is keeping them down it's easy to get on the shot from there you gotta work to finish so challenged every day by these younger it's, it's what keeps me young <laughs> speed second guy I went with he's one of the fastest kids I've ever wrestled in my life so fast on his reattacks. 
and his attacks. Good position. Boom. Attack low. Let's get that attack low off that. You come through. Boom. Block or drag, go behind. All right, remember, lat clamps, ankle, ankle, belly wrap. Don't swing around. College, started getting into coaching. Ruben, his kids, and uh, Pico, and these guys here that were wrestling in high school. And we've been scrapping since. It's been a, a room that's been definitely helping my prolong my MMA career. Today, we're working with Epinesa. She's a couple weeks out from her world championship tournament. She's getting ready for her first world title run. And I love going with people that have tournaments coming up because as you can see, I'm getting ready for my title fight. And coming in this room, there's always someone in here getting specifically ready for something. I'm a big believer in exchanging energies with someone. So when you have someone that's high energy, high output, and wanting to be the best and wanting to win world titles, I kind of get that energy as I'm giving it back to her because I'm teaching her how to become a world champion. I'm teaching her how to be over, overcome her, her nervousness and how she's prepared. She's already ready for this. She's been ready for this for two years now that we've been working with her. And uh, she's a killer, man. She comes in here. As you can see, like I, I drilled with her the whole time and look at me like, look at this. Like you're telling me I'm not gonna get a good workout going in here with girls that are getting ready for world championships. It's up to you. You make the most out of it, right? And with her, she's fast, she's good at position, so I had to make sure I was reacting right, like good reaction time for her. And um, some days I go with the guys that are stronger, obviously, to work on my strength and working on certain positions and strength. Today was more of like the speed because I already worked technique earlier today. So it's working that speed and working that agility and getting her better. And it's making me remember what I need to do in those certain positions as they're trying to defend my takedowns in the fight. And that's why I love coming to this room. Like, man, you're working with world-class athletes that want to be the best and want to know how to be the best. And they look up to me because all my nine titles I've won here or that I've won in my career, I've trained here and other places as well. But for wrestling, I come in here and get some of the best wrestlers in the world and they challenge me, they, ch they, they pick on me, they try to like bully me and stuff like that. But it's good because it's the alpha male, right? And uh, it's fun. This, this is a game changer for sure. Don't forget to wrestle every day. That's the key. <laughs> you go with one person or two? Me? Yeah, did you wrestle with one or two people? Uh, two, yeah, two, two yeah. Uh, one, uh, coach. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Next, uh, high school? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what I need. Dude, it's crazy how many good teams this school has, like a football, basketball, the wrestling team, just like all boys school. That's crazy in itself, an all boys school wrestling season's coming up though, so I'm excited for these guys. That's probably when I feel like my body feels like most acclimated when I fight anywhere from November to like March because that's that's like pure wrestling season and so my body's just like naturally accustomed to like missing Thanksgiving missing Christmas missing New Year's like all the fun holidays my dad's birthday my brother's birthday my birthday so it's like everyone's like how does it feel like not being part of you like your family's thing it's like it sucks, but my dad made me learn how to sacrifice things you love in order to get gain things that you set your goals out for. And so you got to be able to want to sacrifice as bad as you want to accomplish your goals. Like, what are you willing to give up type deal, right? That's at least how I feel about it. It sucks, but it's worth the squeeze for sure. And that's what today was, right? Sacrificing the little moments of tiredness and going to the next one, going to the next one, going to the next one. And I feel like at the end of the day, when I weigh in and I step in and right before I walk through that tunnel, before I see all the people, like that's what that reminds me of. It's like, okay, look at, right before you step out is your most scared moment before the fight because you're about to step out in, a, in an arena full of people and then you just close your eyes and you remember all your training you did to prepare you for your, yourself for this moment. And then after that, everything goes black. 